Well, the day just wouldn't be complete unless we reminded you of today's Delmarva Life Daily Deal. 50% off of photo booth rental for your next party or event from Sound Stations Productions. You can get the Daily Deal on DelmarvaLife.com or download the free Delmarva Life Daily Deal app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. Now you can get our great deals right in the palm of your hand. All right, here you go. Pop quiz. What do you get when you put two lifelong best friends and a fiancé together? The answer would be a troubled bromance. <laughs> that is, uh, that bromance is the premise of CBS's new comedy partners, Michael Urie from Ugly Betty, David Krumholtz from Numbers, and Sophia Bush from One Tree Hill all star in this hilarious comedy from Will & Grace creators David Cohan and Max Muchnick. Here's a sneak peek. So the show's about four people in three relationships. There's the relationship between me and my business partner, Lewis. We're architects. I made out with Philip's sister in that house. <laughs> I made out with Philip in that house. And then there's a relationship between my character, Joe, and his fiance, Allie. Allie Landau, will you marry me? Really? <laughs> and then also the relationship between my character and his partner, Wyatt. I just thought it was part of your shtick. Sweetheart, I am my shtick. And the whole thing is based on our executive producer's real life, David Cohen and Max Muchnick. Dave and I have been writing partners for over 20 years now, and about six years ago, we both got married, and about three years after that, we both had kids. It's just been a very uh, bountiful life with the two of us, and, and now his wife and my husband, and there's a lot to write about as a result. Now that we're engaged, Whose apartment are we going to move into and whose apartment are we going to get rid of? P.S. It's yours, Allie. Oh. There are two sums and three sums yeah. and four sums, but it's all totally PG. You, you, can, you can sort of go any two people and you'll find something funny. You two do everything for each other. You're a perfect couple. In fact, why did I even think about marrying Joe in the first place? What's the point? He's already married to you. The goal of the show is for viewers to look at it and say, boy, I would like to hang out with, with, with those friends. Lewis is a great distraction at the office for Joe. I got news. I got newer news. No, just listen to me. I can talk about okay, okay. He thinks everything is him. Everything is, revolves around him. Yeah. Oh my god, why didn't you bring this up sooner? Because I didn't want my drama to get in the way of our work. Oh my god, it's so funny. I always feel like our work gets in the way of my drama. He also meddles with love. He usually gets him in trouble. Uh, so far, it always gets him in trouble. Oh, I can't believe I did this. I, I, I'm a terrible person. I hate myself. You're not really gonna make this about you, are you? <laughs> I like the idea that this is a fresh relationship to the audience, and I have a feeling that people are gonna relate to it. The dynamic is such that, that, that Lewis um, is a very passionate uh, person who thinks out loud, feels out loud. Wyatt's ability and the reason why they work is he's able to kind of calm him down and rationalize that and, and, and focus that energy. Lewis, are you embarrassed that I'm a nurse? <sighs> Wyatt, my love, come on. <laughs> I find it upsetting that you would even ask such a thing. Of course I am. There's a lot of collateral damage <laughs> by, by the little things we do that we think are innocent end up hurting people's feelings and we end up having to fix things. You know what? You are not a good person. Yeah, I get that a lot. Please be more specific. I felt like I was reading a show I'd been missing, like the way that I miss Will and Grace and the way that I miss Friends. I miss those shows, and I was like, this is exactly what I needed. We were able to cast this thing the right way, and in Michael Urie and David Krumholtz, we found the right guys to do it, and I, I really think that that's what's going on. And again, Partners premieres Monday right here at 8.30 on WBOC. Thanks for watching Delmarva Life, and be sure to join us Monday. We'll get an early look at another new season for a hit CBS show, one of my favorites, How I Met Your Mother. There you go. And are you looking for work? How you can take part in an upcoming job fair right here on Delmarva. And if you're a veteran, especially you want to listen up. And don't forget, you can also visit delmarvalife.com on your mobile device. And for all you iPad users, you can also watch us there. Coming up next on WBOC, Dr. Oz. You know what? We really miss you here in our studio audience, so why don't you join us? All you have to do is go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. It'll show you how to get here. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now, give it up one more time for Nate Clendenin and the Saltwater String Band. <laughs>